JCPS is doing NTI when possible instead of snow days this year. WDRB's Darby Bean tells us what's behind the district's decision on this. Darby? Well, there is no school Monday. That was already in the schedule because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. JCPS officials say for later in the week, though, it's too soon to make a call. But if students are out of the classroom, they'll likely be learning at home. Jefferson County Public Schools is Kentucky's largest school system with more than 95,000 students. District-wide, all eyes are on the incoming weather. Our number one goal is always the safety of our students and our staff. Friday, as the city was briefed on the latest information about the cold to come, JCPS says teams are continuing to monitor the weather and check on its more than 150 buildings throughout the district. So will we have school? We don't have that answer yet. JCPS says a decision for Tuesday will be made by 5 that morning. In a letter sent to families this week, the district said it plans to use non-traditional instruction or NTI when possible this year instead of canceling school for the day. NTI days again, we have 10 of those that we are allowed to use. So we are planning to use as many as possible as needed in inclement weather. JCPS says last school year the district had traditional snow days, but this year has prepared ahead of time to make sure every school has an NTI plan ready. There will also be no early dismissal or delays except in very rare circumstances. That's a change that has been part of conversations about the district's transportation problems, which have had students showing up or getting home late. But the district's chief of communications, Carolyn Callahan, says this has nothing to do with transportation. We have made the decision to do NTI because we have the availability to do that and it does not prolong uh, going into the summer for our students and staff that way. JCPS said if there is an NTI day Tuesday, students would not be logging on to a computer for live instruction, but instead be given material to work on at home on their own time and bring that back to school when classes meet again in person. But still several days out, it's not clear exactly what next week will look like yet for students. So again, no decision has been made at this point. JCPS says one of the best things parents can do right now is make sure schools have their correct contact information. That way families are staying up to date as soon as new information comes out. Darby Bean, WDRB News. Darby, thank